for Kiddio TV with Rainbow Bright, Popples, and Ulysses 31. And now, Rainbow Bright. Bright will return after these messages. Arr, the honeycomb hideout. It's Big Bad Mold, the motorcycle maniac. Yeah, I want a big cereal with a big taste. Big taste, honeycomb, big taste. Honeycomb, big, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. Honeycomb's all a big, big taste. Big, big crunch, big, big, big bite. Honeycomb cereal, part of this big, complete breakfast. Surprise! Hey, what are you doing on my medicine cabinet? I'm the Pump Man, Aquafresh for kids. The toothpaste made specially for kids. My very own toothpaste? Right, I make brushing fun. I've got a zingy taste <laughs> kids love. Fluoride, too. And I'm easy to pump wow. and have a neat top. Hey, Pump Man, hide. Here comes my mom. Aquafresh for kids. I make brushing fun. And now, Rainbow Bright. I want that film. Yes, Your Excellency. Your Majesty. Sir, we have a new, our new weapon. The Super Glue Machine. It'll make that little meddler and her friends so gloomy, <laughs> they won't care what happens to them. You know, our first step, your mind. Now to find the sphere of life and make this whole world beautiful. Where do we start? What's it doing? Wow! Look! We're the color kids. Keepers of the enchanted star sprinkles. That the sprites might the color cane. To help the one who wears the belt make the world bright and filled with color. But the king of shadows banished us to the seven corners of the land. And only the one who earned the right to wear the color belt can set us free. I will. I'll find you and I'll set you free. And this will be a world of hope and happiness again. But where do we look? Look out! Is this gonna get us the color belt, Mercury? One whiff of this glue cloud and there'll be begging for mercy. <laughs> the most magnificent horse in the universe, but I can't fly. <laughs> Certainly can't go back. Is someone in this cave? I know someone's there. I'll fight you. He's one of the color kids. You're the one who found the belt. We'll get you out of there somehow. Stand back, my friends. My 
name's Swiss. How are we going to get out of here? I'm Red Butler. I was in charge of the Red Star Sprinkles. This cave's where the sprites mine all the star sprinkles. But the sprites only follow the color kids. Not this sprite. I follow Wisp. And you can't have all the colors without all the kids. We don't even know where to look for them. Oh, no. The Tangle Forest. Poor Canary Yellow. Wherever she is, we've got to get her out. It's a way out! You stay here and gather all the red star sprinkles you can. Right! And I'll get everything ready for the rest of the color kids. Well, if this is as bad as it gets, we won't have much trouble rescuing Canary Yellow.
collect my green ones. And we'll be back with the rest of the color kids as fast as we can. And when I send you a signal, you come running with all the star sprinkles you can carry. We'll be ready, Wisp. Come on, Twink. Bye, Wisp. Bye. We'll be ready. of the kids, there'll never be any color in this land. Rainbow Bright will return after these messages. Fruity Marshmallow Krispies Lots of fruity marshmallow shapes It you snap, crackle, pop in Over lots of fruit taste Wow! Fruity Marshmallow Krispies Orange, lemon, raspberry, grape It snap, crackle, and pop in with lots of fruit taste. Kellogg's Fruity Marshmallow Krispies, part of this complete breakfast. Mmm, how fruity. Fruity Marshmallow Krispies, you'll be snap, crackle, poppin' over lots of fruit taste. We're going scootin', yeah, we're really moving. Scoot, scoot, scootin' on scoot. Scoot, scoot. Scootin' high, scootin' low. Scootin' everywhere we go. Scoot on by and say, Sold separately. New from Play School. Twizzlers candy makes mouth happy. Mouth of any make good to eat. Strawberry flavored. A juicy plate. Twizzler twist. Twist for me and a coral. Twist, Tie them in a knot. Eat them bite by bite by bite. Chew, chewy, chew. Twizzlers candy. And now, Rainbow Bright. Come on, come on, follow us, and I'll have you right where I want you. <laughs> We've got to get ahead of them. I didn't get to be the wonder of the galaxy by being a slowpoke. to make the whole land beautiful yet, but we can at least keep it from getting any uglier. Look at the pretty colors! Oh, Murky! Murky! 
cookies. They're coming. <laughs> Places I can't go. We'll be back. We've got to find them. You not in there, lame brain. Downstairs. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! No! Someone's coming. Quick! On your feet, Dodo Breath. They're getting away! <laughs> this way, Twink. Gotcha! Uh, they're not here, Murky. <laughs> Out of my way, Drizzle Brain. <laughs> Come on, let's look for the baby. Twink, look! It's the seventh color kid! You get that handle, Twink! It was fascinating. There's some sort of random phase generator combined with a mess and reactor that... Just get those violet star sprinkles. Get her back to the color cave. Now, let's find the baby. <laughs> you walk right into my trap. to be. It is, and so am I. Someone has to stop you. It's the signal. Come on.
You have fulfilled your quest, Whis. You are not little Whis any longer. You shall be known henceforth as Rainbow Bright. And all the beauty of all the lands is entrusted to your care. Protect it well. Lucky! Look at all the pretty colors! Jump, popcorn brain! Jump! Come on, Rainbow! Starlight, now you really are the most magnificent horse in the universe. You have won your place, Rainbow Bright. You wanted a land that needed you. Now you are its hope and light and color. But there will always be those who would make it dark. You will have to fight to keep the wonder in your world. I will. I know you will. I will. I will. Rainbow Bright will return after these messages. You can smush them, you can mush them, you can push them, you can squish them, you can't stop up, up, smush. Hide the smushies in your pocket, stuff another in a locket, you can't stop up, up, smush. Unsmush them right before their eyes, when you hide them, no surprise, you can't stop up, up, smush. Everybody smush your smushies. Everybody smush your smushies. Everybody smush your smushies. Smushies sold separately from Fisher Price. Good time. Great taste. The good time. Great taste of McDonald's. With a McDonald's Happy Meal, I always have a whale of a time! <laughs> when you buy a McDonald's Super Summer Happy Meal, you can get your hands on an inflatable boat. Just look at it float. Or one of two different pails, one for each hand, or a really neat mold that makes shapes in the sand. Or a bouncing beach ball, you can collect them all. Super Summer Happy Meal at McDonald's. And now, Rainbow Bright. Can I borrow your mirror? Why? I'm teaching Cat Potato how to ride my bike. I hope you're being careful. Oh, we're being real careful. Oh, we ride facing traffic so we can see the cars coming. You're supposed to ride with traffic. Well, we did the next best thing. Oh, we ride right down the middle of the road. You mean between the yellow lines? Well, th that's a no-passing area. Well, no one passed us. They did yell a lot, though. Well, what did they yell? As if they couldn't see us in the dark. Oh. Remember this simple rhyme. Ride with traffic, stay to the right. Watch out for others, wear white at night. Can we put my training wheels back on the bike now, fast lane? So learn bike rules. Ride with traffic, stay right, wear white at night, and use reflecting tape. Mayhem. Mask, Buzzard, and Goliath. Each sold separately with two figures. Buzzard, convert. Drone, you fly cover. I'm heading upstairs, Nevada. Roger, Matt. Okay, Mayhem. This round's for you. Mask, two, two, where illusion two, two. is the ultimate weapon. Mask, Goliath, and Buzzard, each sold separately. New from Kenner. Watch me trick Fred out of his new fruity pebbles with lime green. Good day, mate. Rockadile Pond D. If you don't give him green, me Rockadile gets mean. <laughs> He's after your fruity pebbles, mate. Mmm, new lime delicious fruity pebbles. What? Dino? 
Horny my pebbles. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Fruity pebble cereal, now with lime green. Bottomless, nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but that's delicious. Fighting a chip, but the chips were stacked against him. Original, chewy, and now new Stripe Chips Ahoy. Did you bite a chip? I confess, I did it. Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Do you need ghosts? Not yet. Pigment, it's back to the bone. Give me out. Looks like you're really into them, Stan. Safe. <laughs> safe. Not so safe. It's like bucket. What a slob. I've been gooped. Activate the turtle blasters. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Ah! Peter Venkman, bad to the bone and sludge bucket with ectoplasm each sold separately. Ghostbusters from Kenner. Once upon a time, there was a land ruled by a beautiful lady named Lady Lovelocks and her magical friends, the Pixie Tails. It was a land of spells and enchantments, and a prince who was made to bear a cruel curse. There was also a duchess named Raven Waves, who plotted wicked schemes to take over the land of Lovely Locks. All that stands in her way is Lady Lovely Locks and the love she holds for her kingdom. These are her stories. We'll return after these messages. Well, I didn't really see it, but... Who is it? It's Brian! Oh, he wants to talk to you, Lisa! <laughs> he says he likes you! <laughs> he really likes you! <laughs> That Coco Crisp is chocolatey taste Sends you to this chocolatey place To a land full of chocolate That goes snap, crackle, pop a lot Let Coco Crispies fill your spoon And soon be gazing at a Coco Moon Sitting under a chocolate palm tree By the Coco Sea Kellogg's Coco Crispies, part of this complete breakfast Follow these glow-in-the-dark prehistoric stickers And who knows what you'll find One strip free in Coco Crispies and now, back to Lady Lovely Lux and her friends, the Pixie Tales. The land of Lovely Lux is ordinarily a peaceful place, thanks to the presence of Lady Lovely Lux. Once, she traveled afar and almost stayed away from her kingdom too long. Kingdom Lady Lovely Locks. Enjoy it while you can. It'll soon be mine. 
That's right, ride on. I've got all sorts of welcome home surprises waiting for you. All right, Silky Mane. We'll slow down, but just for a bit, dear friend. There's only one way to stop this destruction. I must get to my looking room deep within Lovely Locke's castle. <laughs> She's not welcome. Look it! Look it! Comic Sonics! Let's get it! Snag it! Good work, my little friends. I'll handle matters from here. Pixie Tails, if we're going to save the kingdom, I must reach the castle soon. <laughs> Some job your conome did stopping her hairball. <laughs> and don't pull that shrinking act on me, hairball. Those little tricks you stole from Shining Glory don't impress me. But poo poo, my comb gnome did slow her down. If we can just keep Lady and her hair from the looking room... You forget, Hairball. The plan to delay her return was mine. Soon the whole kingdom will be yours. All I need is some of her magical hair. Then I'll have her power. And I won't forget your help, Hairball. There's no longer shining glory. Have you seen the future? Yes, and I see trouble for your lady. She needs our help. But you know of my curse, shining glory. If I leave your crystal, it can only be in the form of a dog. Forget not the crystal about your neck. With it, you can become strong heart for brief moments. But never in lady's presence. Things are as they are. Outside of the crystal, you are a dog, and I am blind. So, serve as a dog as best you can. Ravenwave's treachery here, Maiden Curly Crown. Treachery? What makes you suspect? We've no time for talk now. Maiden Fairhair is right. We must hurry to the castle at all costs. Lady Lovely Locks oh, might fall and hurt her, her precious self, oh, and oh. then, oh my, what would we do? <gasps> what do you want, Raven Waves? I've seen the magic your hair creates in the looking room. I'll have your hair, then the kingdom! <laughs> Oh, damn it, you little brats! My toe nose 
would love to have you for dinner. Trick me this time. I won't ever stay away so long again. We gave snags. We don't want him to feel left out. <laughs> I must help my kingdom. Let lovely locks shine. so much. I'll never be tricked into staying away from my looking room so long again. And my thanks to you, Prince. You are truly a noble animal. And your most loyal friend, lady. As you could see in that exciting story, the kingdom was saved from disaster just in time. With troublemakers like Duchess Ravenwaves in the world, it's important to have friends we can depend on. I'm a very lucky person because I have such good friends in my life. Maiden's fair hair and curly crown, the pixie tails, silky mane, shining glory, prince, and all the wonderful people in the kingdom. Good friends should know how much they mean to us. I try to let all the wonderful people in my life know how special they are. I'm sure there are people in your life who make you feel happy. Take a minute to think about all the people you love. Have you told them lately how happy you feel because they are your friends? It makes people feel good to know you think about them. Be sure to let them know. Good friends, especially friends you've known a long time, stick with you through good times and bad. They know your faults and your good points and tell you the truth. Even in a magical place like the land of Lovely Locks, I make mistakes sometimes. I depend on my friends to help me. I'm always excited when I meet new people. My head is full of questions I want to ask them. I want to learn all about them. Maybe they will become friends too. But I have run into a few problems from time to time. In my next adventure, Maiden Fairhair and Maiden Curly Crown and I were excitedly preparing for the grand ball. We were in such a hurry, I didn't take the time I should have to see whether someone was really a friend. We'll return after these messages. You 
can win $1,000 on the mystery sweepstakes from Pebbles. What would you do with $1,000? I'd get a new bike for every day of the week. I'd buy shoes for my new pony. The minions will enter. 20 kids will win $1,000. Details and mystery clues inside specially marked boxes of Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles cereal. A free entry, right? Post Pebble Cereal, Mystery Sweepstakes, Box 871, Churchill, Maryland, 21690. I'd save for school. Astronaut school! What are you doing? Saving the future! But how? With Captain Power videotapes, there are three different skill levels. This one's the toughest. Now we can practice anytime with the Power Jet X27. Score or be hit. Captain Power videotapes. I don't believe it. Believe it, large human. The power of the future is in your hands. Batteries not included. Jets, figures, and new interactive videotapes each sold separately from Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. And now, back to Lady Lovely Lux and her friends, the Pixie Tales. It began as another perfect day in the land of Lady Lovely Lux. But this was a very special day, for it was the day of Lady's Grand Ball. But before the next sunrise came, Lady Lovely Locks would know the meaning of terror and trickery and true love. I don't care for the color of those ribbons. Pinks and blues would be much better. My pixie tails are busy preparing the grounds. And mine are out gathering flowers. Whoops! Don't worry, my pixie tails will handle this job. <laughs> they so want to help. Pixie sparkle, pixie shine, pixie beauty, we need your help. Here it's me, orange. Those ribbons are all wrong. We need pink and blue. Could you please help us? What is it? <laughs> Especially with the mysterious Baron Von Tress coming. I hear he's gorgeous. So was the sight of the prince I once saw in Mirror Lake. Wait till you see this newcomer, lady! <coughs> what is that pitiful sound? Why, it's... Prince! We must hurry! Something's wrong! <laughs> Poor Prince! Whatever could have made you run so fast, so far? He wants me to follow. We'll go with you. No, both of you must stay here and make sure tonight's ball is a success. I'll be fine. Prince will be with me. And my pixie tails will alert me to any danger. <laughs> poor, poor wizard. Your strength is sapped. Inside my hairnet, you've been trapped. How foolish of you to believe so simple a trick and defeat a wizard. <laughs> In this trap you didn't stay, but I don't think you'll get away. Ouch! Oh. I've got to save Shining Glory. He's outnumbered and he's hurt. Yeah, yeah. Ho, 
old enough. I'll give you something to growl about, you brats. Thank you for your help, sir. Baron Von Tress, old wizard. And it was my honor to assist. Shining Glory's fame is well known in my distant kingdom, as is Lady Lovelylock's beauty. Your courage is great, Baron Von Tress. I am in your debt for aiding a dear friend. The decorations are complete, Lady Lovelylocks. And I must say, the castle never looked more splendid. Well, I must say I never felt more splendid. Oh, I wonder if this feeling has anything to do with the handsome Baron Von Tress. Blast these old bones of mine. Is your injury serious, Shining Glory? I'm afraid I won't be able to make the ball this evening. You will attend, though, Strongheart. No, Prince the Dog will attend. Perhaps Lady Lovelylocks will have a bone for me to gnaw on. Would you prefer not to go at all? No, I just prefer to go as a man. But at least I'll be able to see her. Remember, tonight is the birth of the full moon. For a fleeting moment, Lady may see your true reflection. Stay close to her tonight, strong heart. Lady is young, still learning the ways of the world. Oh, how I wish I could have all the good people of the kingdom here. Why not go to them? They'd love that. A wonderful suggestion, Baron. Could your driver take us into town? At your service, Lady Lovelylocks. Prince! To the village! And drive carefully! We've precious cargo tonight. Precious cargo, indeed. <laughs> I must tell you, I enjoyed the costume ball, Lady Lovelylocks. It was a ball, Baron Von Tress, but, but not a costume ball. How foolish. I misunderstood. Then off with my costume. <laughs> Hairball! <laughs> Why do I get the delicious feeling the trap's been sprung? <laughs> <laughs> Duchess Raven Waves only wants one clump of your pretty, pretty hair so she can have your power. <laughs> See your true reflection. Oh. And now I'll have that with your hair, Lady Lovely Locks. You've run out of tricks. Raven waves, <laughs> Duchess. What's the mess? Yeah. Yeah. Raven waves! I, I, I can't swim! Oh, don't tempt me, hairball! The prince! Oh, please! Please stop the carriage!
Prince! Thank you. You've proved yourself once more. I am saved from raven waves. Shown how foolish I was to be drawn to one who I thought was a handsome baron. How difficult a lesson that the truth about a person isn't always what they appear to be on the outside. Oh, Prince, I've still so much to learn. <laughs> That was a hair-raising adventure, but I learned a very important lesson. The truth about a person isn't always what they appear to be on the outside. It's important to take the time to get to know someone before you trust them. Thanks to the help of my very loyal friend, Prince, I was saved from Duchess Ravenwave's plot. I discovered that someone I thought was a friend was really hairball in disguise. Prince is always there when I need protection. Silky Mane carries me away from danger and gets me out of tangled situations. Shining Glory is loving and wise. He's always willing to share his special knowledge with me. Maiden's fair hair and curly crown are always around to share fun times with me. And of course, there are my very, very special friends, the Pixie Tails who share their magical qualities and help me keep the kingdom filled with beauty and goodness and laughter. We all have special qualities. Here in the kingdom, we help each other and try to keep this land filled with happiness for one and all. Good friends, wonderful times, happy lives. That is what the land of Lovely Locks is all about. I'm so happy you joined us and got to meet all of my friends. I hope you'll come again to the kingdom of Lady Lovely Locks. We have so many more exciting stories to share with you. I look forward to your next visit to the kingdom. I think you and I can be very good friends. Goodbye for now. See you again soon. Lady Lovely Locks, Lady Lovely Lady, Lady Lovely Locks. Monster Mash, new from Parker Brothers. Get along, gang, get along, gang. Each one so special in his own way. Montgomery's the leader and he's such a good sport. But get along, gang, get along, gang. There's Wooma and Daddy with the spirit. Bingo, the Frankly doesn't ruin it. Logical Porsche will 
gonna figure it out Unless it's near by the lead machine Get up with the get along game Come on, belly bitches don't end Get up with the get along game Get up with the get along game That clap has to do some this way The latest, the greatest, new dance Marty and Rockers with Ken! an alien. No kidding. Where? It's living in America. I like what they've done with the place. It loves cats. Can't get enough of them. <coughs> it's Alf, and now it's everywhere. You're debonair, and yet fuzzy. My parents just don't understand our relationship. I mean, this whole cat thing's been blown all out of proportion. <coughs> Alf. Alf, alien life form new from Coleco. And now, back to the Get Along Game. Mmm, mmm, ice cream sodas, here we come. <laughs> what happened? What's the big idea of pushing us? Want to make something of it? I uh, just remembered. I was supposed to start jogging today. I gotta keep in shape, you know. Zipper, aren't you going to do something? Ah, uh, they're just a couple of silly bullies. Silly bullies? You better watch your mouth. Uh, this is probably all just a misunderstanding. I'm sure you didn't mean to push us. We didn't push you. You pushed us. Can't you see you're wasting your time, Montgomery? This calls for action. She's right. How's this for action? Just add a few cherries, and we have moose all the mode. <laughs> Is there anything I can get you? How about some chocolate syrup? I never saw those two girls around here before. They're Penelope and Paulette Pig. They're new in town. Nobody seems to like them very much. Why should anyone like them? They're a couple of meanies. Well, maybe they're okay deep down inside. Ha! Deep down inside, they're worse. If you ask me, I think they're going to give us nothing but trouble. Let's not waste our time talking about them. Let's have some fun over at Riverside Park. So, the Pig sisters moved into town. This could work out good for us. What do you mean, Ketchum? Well, if we use our, I mean my brains, Riverside Park will finally be off limits to the Get Along Gang. So, as soon as I heard the Get Along Gang badmouthing you like that, we had to tell you. What exactly did they say? They said you two were disgusting and ugly and yucky and icky and... Well, you get the point. And on top of that, they said they'd never let you set foot inside Riverside Park. They said that, did they? Well, we'll show them a thing or two. Come on, Paulette. We've got something to settle. Will you push me on the swings? Sure, Portia. What do you think you're doing? We're going on the swings. We were here first. Those swings are for little kids. Come on, Portia. We'll find you a place to play somewhere else. We can't let them get away with this. Don't worry. This park is big enough for all of us. That's what they think. We were here first. I don't know about you guys, but I came to play basketball. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, we're doomed. Zipper, why don't you do something? You're tough. You know how to handle those pig sisters. I will. When the time is right. 
Watch this shot! <laughs> this calls for action. At last! We're gonna throw them out of the park, huh? Nope. We're gonna have a meeting. Oh. Can you hear anything, huh? If you'd keep your mouth shut, I think I hear something. I still say we storm the park. No one's gonna tell us if we can't play where we want to play. No, no, Dottie. Fighting isn't the answer. I have an idea. We're gonna make peace with them. Peace? With those two? Impossible. I think it might work. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. We've been having a blast since we scared off the Gillong gang. Yep, the park is all ours. <laughs> Too bad it won't last. What are you talking about? Well, I happen to know that the Get Along gang are going to try to trick you into giving up the park. Oh, yeah? We'll teach them not to try to trick us. I sure hope this works. Me too. What do you two want? Well, I have this map here of Riverside Park. And I thought maybe we could divide up the park so that everyone can play. How about dividing the park 50-50? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Well, I'm sure we could work out something you'd agree to. Well, those were my suggestions. Have you got any ideas? Well, how did it go? Well, not too good. Not too good at all. I knew it. I knew negotiating with these pig sisters wouldn't work. We've got to do something drastic. Oh, disaster. Well, Zipper, is the time right now? It sure is. I'm going to set those pig sisters straight. We can't let them push us around. We have to stand up for our rights. We have to meet force with force. Now, here's my plan. Montgomery and Portia, you'll move in on their left flank. Zipper and Bingo will come in behind the pig sisters. Got it. Me and Zipper will take care of them. We know how to handle those cream puffs. Zipper, where is he? He's probably getting ready for the big battle. Okay, let's get going. Look, there's more of us than there is of them. We can take whatever they dish out. Wait a minute. Let's think this over. I'm not sure about this. No talking in the ranks. Now get in formation. Okay, let's move out. We're not going to the park. We're going to see an important person. Huh? Who? What are you talking about? Patience. Before long, the park will be our private playground. I told you when we moved in, none of the kids would want to play with us. Just like where we used to live. We never seemed to have friends. Well, we'd better just stick together. Hut, two, three, four, hut. Two, three, hmm. four. Still no sign of Zipper. Oh, I hope he doesn't get into trouble. Ready, halt! So, you're back to pushing again. Sorry, it was an accident. It was deliberate. Oh, I can't believe. Portia, we've got to rescue her from those bullies. <laughs> Portia, where are you? There she is. Pull her out. There they are, Officer Growler. Those troublemakers. The get-along gang. Imagine them picking a fight with those defenseless young ladies. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. Ganging up on innocent people. Officer Growler, we can explain. There's no excuse. From now on, Riverside Park will be off limits to you kids. Thank you, sir. We don't know what we would have done if you didn't show up when you did. Just doing my job. This didn't work out like I hoped. Now that we have the pick of the park, how about playing on a merry-go-round? Sure. Hi, girls. What are you doing here? You have us, I mean me, to thank for that little visit from Officer Growler. So, what about it? Well... Now there's plenty of room for us four to play and have fun. They want to play and have fun in our park? Let's give them a hand. Yay! Now 
now for the fun! <laughs> Was this also part of your fantastic plan? Stop your complaining. At least the Get Along Gang won't be playing in the park either. It isn't fair. But there's nothing we can do about it. Hi, guys. Where have you been, Zipper? Getting ready for my showdown with the Pig Sisters. I'm headed for the park. Zipper, are you sure you should be having a showdown? Someone could get hurt. Aw, uh, don't worry about me. I'm going to set those girls straight once and for all. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Let's watch. But we're not allowed in the park. So, we can watch from the sidewalk. Come on. Well, I'll go, but only to try and stop Zipper from getting into trouble. Looks like I'm too late. Look, I don't want to fight, but I'm not going to let my friends be pushed around either. Listen, you two, I know how you feel. I used to be just like you, a tough guy, without a friend in the world. You? But you have all your friends to play with. Yeah, but I used to be a loner. I thought nobody would like me, so I always was mean to them first. The Get Along Gang taught me different. I don't know what I would have done without my pals. How about us being friends? I have a friend? And so do I. You both have lots of friends. Shucks. I was hoping for a little excitement. Whoa! Come on, Leland. Let's find our own park. One that doesn't have a river next to it. <laughs> the Get Along Gang will return after these messages. Losers are losers and losers are users. I don't use drugs. Don't use drugs. The prop here with a song that says don't use drugs. Teach it to everybody and help take a fight out of crime. Don't use drugs. Do you know what happened to Robin yesterday? No, what? Well, she was standing right here waiting for her mother. And this man came up to her and he wanted her to help him find his lost dog. Did she go with him? No, she ran back inside and told Mr. Phillips. I think it was smart of her not to take a chance. If something's not right, tell someone you trust. Fruity marshmallow crispies, lots of fruity marshmallow shakes. Did you stop the crack or popping over lots of fruit cakes? Wow! Fruity marshmallow crispies, orange, lemon, raspberry, great for lots of fruit cakes. No, Kellogg's Fruity Marshmallow Crispies, part of this complete breakfast. Fruity marshmallow crispies. Follow these glow-in-the-dark prehistoric stickers, and who knows what you'll find? One strip free in Fruity Marshmallow Crispies. Bringing fun from outer space, you landing in your town. The most space age girl around. New Spectra and Spark. Shiny pink skin. Lacy space wear. Spectra, I'd love to fix your sparkling hair. Now we're ready. But you're welcome to Earth Party. Dolls sold separately. Spark spinning all around. Wow. Spectra, the most space age girl in town. Spectra and Spark. Sold together or sold separately. Spectra. New from the tail. And now, back to the Get Along Game. Hurry up, Bingo! We've got to watch this weather report to see if we can go in our hiding. Hey, there's no problem with me. It's just lousy TV set. Well, if I set it home, sometimes if you bang it on the top... Give me a break, you guys. There. I told you I can do anything. Ever see a better picture? Right here at the Green Meadow TV station, some girl or boy will be selected as our very own Nose for News Kids Reporter. Yay! So if any of you kids out there can find that award-winning news story, maybe you will be our star reporter. That's us! We can be star reporters! We can't miss! We could use my daddy's videotape camera! There, see? Nothing can stop us. Together, we're bound to win. Hold it, hold it. Didn't you hear the man? He said reporter, not reporters. Zipper's right. The man said one of us can win, not all of us together. We solo. You mean I get to sing? 
He means we each find our own news stories, Wilma, alone. Then I get the video camera. No, you don't. It's my daddy's. All right, all right. Whoever draws the longest straw uses the camera first. I <laughs> With my brilliant brains, that reporter's job is as good as mine. All I have to do is report the biggest news story of the year. But how do you expect to find a big story like that? It'll be a snap. We'll create it ourselves. Hmm. Now, what kind of news story would be sure fire, damsel in distress, heroic? That's it. I've done it again. We'll fake the greatest runaway balloon rescue of the century. And, uh, who's gonna be in the runaway balloon, Ketchum? Not you, Leland. A dummy. We'll get one from a store window. Sounds like a great idea, Ketchum. Right! After all, I need you for the dangerous part. To rescue the dummy. Will you hurry up and get it over with, Dottie? I want to use the camera to report my winning story. My story's going to be the winner. It has everything. I just found out from Breaker Turtle that Ketchum is trying to get the reporter job, too. This is your hard-hitting, investigative reporter, Dotty Dog, with one of the biggest stories of crime and corruption ever to be uncovered in Green Meadow. Wow, maybe she does have something. In just a second or two, a well-known law enforcement person will approach this market, just as I saw him do all last week at this time, and will actually steal merchandise. Now watch carefully. And there you have it. Plain, simple, outright theft. And by a police officer. At no time did we see him even attempting to pay for it. Looks like Dottie's got the goods on Officer Growler. There goes my chances of being a star reporter. Cut. Red handy. Officer Growler, I'd like to speak to you. Yes, just like all the others who are uncovered by top investigative reporters, this one doesn't want to talk to me. Now, what's all this? I didn't want to be on camera with a mouthful of that apple I bought here. What? Sure. You see, I gave the grocer a $20 bill last week. And since he didn't have change, we agreed I'd just take an apple every day out of it. And I appreciate your business, Officer Growler. Oh, gee. I'm awfully sorry, Officer Growler. About what, Dottie? About jumping to conclusions. And there you have it, the story of how your local police department and local merchants cooperate for a better green meadow. Dotty Dog reported. Boy, I got a chance to win after all. The tape recorder? Did you forget it? It's up there, Ketchum. Help! Help me! Help! Runaway balloon! Help! Get a picture of me holding this pea shooter before I fire and bring the balloon down, Leland. Ready? Fire! What a great news story this'll be. It's gonna be a bullseye. Bullseye! This is Bingo Beaver. I'm here to review this restaurant for you folks at home. The Good Eats Cafe is under the careful management of one of the finest chefs in the country. Mr. Bernie Good Eats. As for the Good Eats Cafe's chocolate milkshakes, I'd say it was fair. All right. And the burgers, the chicken fried steak, and the blue plate special. In my humble opinion, just average. I'd give the vanilla a low rating, and the chocolate even lower. And the banana crunch is the worst I've ever tasted. That's all from your restaurant reporter from the Good Eats Cafe. Hurry up, Marsha. I want to do my big story next. This is your weather reporter, Portia Poikin Pile, with today's weather report. Here in Green Meadow, I'm happy to say it's a bright, clear, beautiful, absolutely perfect day. With the exception of maybe a cloud or two here or there. Well, it's possibly not quite fair all day. There could be some sprinkles, but Fortunately, no wind, or actually what some people might call moderate to heavy wind. So take my advice, and whatever you do, stay indoors, because it's going to stay like this all day. Oh, so this is poor.
Portia Porcupine, your weather reporter, signing off on this, the prettiest day I've just about ever seen. Okay, just as I grab onto the balloon's basket, you take my picture. Got it, lots of pictures. Perfect so far, on the nose. This time, I've done it. Absolutely perfect. That's it. The reporter's job is as good as mine. Did you get enough pictures, Leela? Eight of them, catch them. Let's see the pictures that are gonna cinch the award for me and make me world famous. You had the camera backwards. You're on. This is your sports reporter, Zipper Cat, with sports highlights featuring Green Meadow's biggest sports star. Here he comes now. Yes, a star in every sporting event there is. How does he do it? How does this incredible human machine win at everything he does? Well, at least he stopped moving. Hello, this is your science reporter, Montgomery Moose, here in a factory that has just begun to use robots. As you can see, these robots do the very same jobs that people used to do. And in some cases, they can even do it better. Robots don't get tired and don't care about working long hours. So they're really the ideal employees. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I wish I thought of doing this story on factory robots. Montgomery will probably walk away with the award. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? That's it, Leland. A little more to the left. Perfect, perfect. Leland! What do we do? Help! We're right behind you, Montgomery! Gosh, and I said they didn't care about working long hours. Guess my story was a big flop. Look! It's Captain and Leland! Help! They've gotten themselves into a real mess this time. We'll have to save them. Here, Breaker, hold this till we get back. Hey, look! That's us on the news! A group of courageous children performed a daring rescue today. And this incredible rescue was photographed by our brand new Nose for News Kids reporter, Breaker Turtle. Breaker Turtle? He got the job? And they call that a news story? What about my great restaurant review? Yeah! Quiet, quiet! Breaker had every right to win because he was the best reporter. What are you talking about? How could he be better? Yeah, that's ridiculous. How could he say that? Breaker was best because he reported the news. He didn't try to create the news. Guess we're not cut out to be reporters. Too bad. I like being in front of the TV camera. Hey, why don't we start our own TV station? Yeah, we could have all kinds of shows. Boy, it'd be fun. I could do a variety show. I want to do a comedy. Or a music video. And maybe a movie. Oh, boy! The Get Along Gang will return after these messages. Oh, 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 who's that twister? Who's that cruncher? It's Oreo action, or Oreo muncher. Be a liquor, a cruncher, a chocolate cookie dunker, a creamy milk muncher. With O R E O, Oreo action, Oreo action. With the dunker, whatever your attraction. What's your Oreo action? Sky 
Commanders, where all the action is above the ground. Set up laser cable! Good work, Cable Raider! Just as the cable cannon spots the enemy... Sky Commanders, warning, warning! The evil Raiders attack! Deception Raider, strike! You're surrounded! Each sold separately with a figure and cable. Fire! Gotcha, Raiders! Sky Commanders, protectors of the high frontier. Cable cannon comes with everything you see here. Other vehicles each sold separately. New from Kenner. And now, back to the Get Along Game. Who is Billy Bupkis' arch nemesis? I didn't know he was married. It's not like you to miss a TV trivia. Did you miss your breakfast? I was asleep. I better catch up. Oh, candy? That's no breakfast. Junk, junk, junk. Yeah, but well balanced junk. Candy's okay for a treat, but your body needs the right kind of fuel to run properly. You need a balanced breakfast to be alert. Come here. Protein, dairy products, cereal, and fruit. Now, fuel up. Mmm, you know, it's working. I feel better already. <laughs> there you go, CP. Start your day with a variety of foods. Your body will thank you for it. And remember, nobody takes better care of you than you. in the Masters of the Universe movie with Blade, the slashing blades of terror. With Sauron, Skeletor's evil lieutenant with a mouthful of lightning. Can they catch Gwildor before his cosmic key enables him to escape? Now, you can live the adventure with Sauron, Gwildor, and Blade. I've waited a long time for this. Figure soul separately from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. <laughs> These Kiddio TV programs are children's entertainment projects of DIC Enterprises and LBS Communications Incorporated.